This video will go through an example of finding the volume of a solution that must be evaporated to produce a solid residue of a given mass. What volume of 0.3 molar strontium hydroxide solution would need to be evaporated in order to produce a residue of 50 grams of solid strontium hydroxide? We'll create a plan for this problem. Since we're given the mass of solid strontium hydroxide, we start with grams of SROH2. In step 1, we'll convert grams of SROH2 into moles. And in step 2, we can use the equation V equals N over C to calculate the volume of the solution that we need to evaporate. So let's carry out this plan. In step 1, we convert grams of SROH2 to moles. We start by writing 50 grams of SROH2 here and multiply by 1 mole of SROH2 over the molar mass of SROH2, 121.64 grams. We cancel out the grams of SROH2, divide 50 by 121.64, and we get 0 0.4110 moles of SROH2, which we can jot down here at the top. In step 2, we calculate the volume of 0.3 molar SROH2 solution that contains 0 0.4110 moles of dissolved SROH2. We know the number of moles and the concentration, so we can calculate the volume using the equation V equals N over C. We substitute 0 0.4110 moles for N and 0.3 molar for C. Instead of using capital M for molarity, we express it as moles per liter. This makes it easier to cancel units. Recall that molarity is equal to moles per liter, so capital M and moles per liter are equivalent ways of expressing molar concentration. Now we'll go back to the expression, and we'll cancel out the moles. And the unit liters is on the bottom of the bottom, or bottom of the denominator which means it is the unit for the answer. To help you understand why liters is a unit for the answer, we'll write the unit moles divided by moles per liter. When dividing by a fraction, we can invert the denominator and multiply. So this is equal to moles times liters over moles. We cancel the moles and we're left with the unit liters on top, which will be the unit for our answer. So we'll write it down here. To calculate the answer, we go 0 0.4110 divided by 0.3, and we get 1.370 liters. Since we had no less than four significant figures throughout the calculations, the answer has four significant figures. So to summarize the answer to this question, we can say 1.370 liters of 0.3 molar SROH2 solution would need to be evaporated in order to produce a residue of 50 grams of solid strontium hydroxide. 